everyone. My name is Rodney Smith. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Spiel 2019. I've been joined by Natalie at Cosmodrome Games, and you brought with you Squire. Yes. Squire, the collector of the glorious rarities. This is one of my favorite games, to be honest with you. I yes. just love it. So it's a family game. Right. Uh, it also can be played uh, from two to four players. Okay. And the amount, uh, the time of playing will take once again 48 till 60 minutes. Okay. Um, so this game, it's easy, I would call it. Um, so imagine yourself a collector of rarities, different ones. Yes. Yeah. So here, is that what I'm sort of seeing here spread across the board? It looks like some, some yes, various yes. So we rarities, have rings different and vases. Rarities. Yeah, we have jewelry, some antique things, some paintings and books. Okay. So you travel around the world. Yeah, so we have another uh, side of the playing board. I was going to say, it's a very small world here. Yeah, okay. there is a world, and <laughs> yeah. here is Victorian England. Okay, okay. Yeah, so you travel around the world. Uh, okay, England, <laughs> sure. sorry. Yeah, yeah so uh, and um, at each place, once you came to the destination, yes. you can choose either you want to buy or sell this rarity. Yeah, so you have a gallery. Okay. And your main Here's aim is to here. make the most amazing mm -hmm. gallery in the whole England or world. Yes. Uh, so you need to fill in this gallery and also you can hold exhibitions. Yeah, but back to the process. So, sure. Um, first of all, you need to make a move. Yeah, so you have this nice royal ticket right. that allows you to make a move. So you must move at the very beginning of your turn. So you move. Uh, once you came to the destination, you can uh, choose... Do we use our markers to move? Is this, yes, is this, yeah. yes, and uh, the funny thing is that mm -hmm. we have a lot of characters here, yeah. so you can choose either you want to be a girl or a boy. Right. Yeah, and here are really nice uh, yes. little double-sided tiles. Gotcha. Yeah. So, once you came to a destination, you need to choose if you want to sell or buy right. this rarity to your collection. And here comes the most interesting thing. We have a market, a sure. dynamic market. This is the uh, market itself. And here you need to understand the price that you will need to pay for it. So here comes the rarity, the value of rarity, mm -hmm. and here comes the, the uh, destination, the color of destination. Oh, yeah. okay, so okay. for example, yes. uh, this yellow destination cost me three and this violet one will cost me two, two sure. so it's five. Right. If I decide to buy it, then once I did it, I need to put these things up. And the situation will immediately change. Right, yeah. right, right, right. So I will already influence your, for example, way of playing. <laughs> yes. If I decided to uh, sell it, right. then the same things will go down. And it once again a brand right. new market, yeah. Right. So market is really influencing the whole game. It's a dynamic. And a very easy way to keep track of it. Just yes, slide yes. On this. And the uh, great thing is that the game is suitable for colorblind people because oh, these are symbols. Yes, we have symbols and they match destinations and rarities. Right, and. If we see on the three-quarter view here, you can actually see the symbols appearing here, right? Yes, so, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So here comes rarities, yeah. here comes destinations. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. So, for example, I decided to buy, I pay coins, I get it to, into my gallery. Right. And here it's once again up to me to decide where exactly I want to put it. Yeah, because here I have some effects that I can get right once you now. Cover them up? Yes, uh, you want yeah. to cover So up if I them. put here, yeah. then I will immediately get two coins. Okay. So also, you have a lot of really nice bonuses inside the game. Once you fill in up the line, or yeah, this one or this, you can get amazing effects, okay. yeah, bonuses. Right. Uh, yeah, so it's up to you how you want to move. And once you have the exhibition token, you need to hold an exhibition and it's the best way to interact with the players because not only you will get bonuses but also all other players so that's the great uh, way to communicate with each other in this game and also we have we have uh these lovely tiny letters yes i see that yeah so uh you have two effects one you can do right now yeah and then just give it back Sure. Or here, you can keep using during the whole game, but it will give you victory points only at the end of the game. Okay. So you can choose any way you want to play this Use game. It, or it hang will on to it keep later. it. Okay. It will be always changeable, and you have a dynamic market. So also the uh, the replayability of this game is also quite high. And the production's really lovely as well. Like yes, and I like the art here. once yeah, again. Yeah. These animals are really so cute. 
Yeah, it's kind of a little fantasy animal world. Here, yeah, right? just just yes. turn Very on your imagination. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they Excellent. are lovely. And is this one? Did you say is this available? Right now yes, as well? you can also either play or buy this yeah. game straight at our booth uh, right. in Hall Two D One One Three. And here we also have a special prize, just right. twenty five euros, and you can start your amazing adventure. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for showing thank us that. Thank you. Thank you for having that. us here. And all of you, thanks for watching.